In today's Supreme Court ruling overturning the landmark Roe v. Wade decision reached in 1973 has sent shockwaves throughout the country. That ruling established a constitutional right to abortion. The ruling today now sends abortion decisions back to individual states. South Carolina does not have a so-called trigger law that automatically bans abortion. We start our team coverage with News 19's Becky Buds, who joins us now live from outside the state house. What does this mean, this ruling for us today in South Carolina, Becky? Well, Darcy, you can see behind me that dozens of people are protesting today's historic ruling by the Supreme Court to overturn Roe versus Wade. We understand this rally was organized by Planned Parenthood on social media. However, similar protests have been happening across the country today. I spent the day asking state lawmakers what the Supreme Court's decision means for South Carolina moving forward. To me, it's a sad day for all of our daughters and all of the young women and women in this country who have lost the ability to make decisions that pertain to their bodies. We can finally um, unite as a state and, and do what we've always wanted to do is, and protect the unborn. So. South Carolina Democrat and Republican lawmakers are reacting to the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe versus Wade. Currently, South Carolina bans abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. However, a new state law banning abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected or at about six weeks will soon take effect. That law has been held up in federal court since Governor Henry McMaster signed it last year. Within the next few days, there will be a court order from the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals that will likely say this law is fine. Uh, and the, once that ruling comes down, then everything will go into effect. A law passed before the end of the regular session allows South Carolina legislators to return any time after July 1st to respond to the high court's ruling. Representative John McCravey is the chair of the 12-member bipartisan panel that will eventually guide abortion legislation in the House. We're going to have public hearings on this, and then we're going to come up with a bill, and we're going to put that to the House for a vote. And, and uh, I expect the Senate to do the same. What's unclear is whether lawmakers will include exceptions for rape and incest. So I hope the vote will be to have no exceptions, but I can't promise that. Um, and we'll just have to see uh, what, what the will of the body is. Based upon the membership in the General Assembly at this time, that there is an appetite for a total ban. South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson has already filed a motion to lift the stay on the Fetal Heartbeat Act. When the abortion ad hoc committee meets, they will discuss more restrictive abortion legislation and will hear public testimony. Darcy? Becky Buds, thank you so much. Reporting live for us right outside of the State House. Senator